Another fun summer church event you can take part in, the Museum of Family Prayer in Massachusetts, now accepting entries for its second annual Mary Garden Contest, and they want Brooklyn and Queens to join in. Here to tell us more about the Mary Gardens and the competition itself is Father Jim Phelan, National Director of Family Rosary. Father, thank you so much for joining us. Oh, it's a pleasure, and, and greetings to everybody who is with us over the various airways or internet, however, you're, however they're with you. Now to start us off, I want to take a look at what we're talking about. So here are some examples of a Mary Garden. Uh, this one, for example, they integrated a Panama flag into it. Um, the next one has a cultural spin. You can see a little crystal cross up at the top there. And then this is definitely a really unique one. I love this uh, with the little girl that's praying below Mary. Can you explain what a Mary Garden is and what makes them so special? Well, it's really it's an old tradition. It comes from the Middle Ages. Uh, traditionally, there'd be walled gardens, t taking a reference from the Song of Songs, which says, my love is a walled garden. Uh, a walled garden with a Marian image and all the plants in it uh, selected from, really, there are, about, there are thousands of plants that have names that are associated with the Blessed Virgin. Well, we're kind of opening up the field a little bit. We're not going to be quite that rigid. We just want people to create beautiful, sacred spaces with Mary, put a statue of Mary, and create a sacred space where you and your family can pray. And what inspired this contest? Have you seen a lot of interest? Oh yeah, it's great. Everybody loves it. You know, it's just such a joyful thing. We got the idea last year uh, from the Museum of Family Prayer. Actually, our Museum of Family Prayer was closed yes, last year because of COVID. We're open again now. Anybody comes to Massachusetts, please come visit the Father Peyton Center and our, and our beautiful Museum of Family Prayer. But still the same, we had a similar situation from last year in some way. It was COVID. Everybody was scared. Everybody was closed in. And, you know, so, well, let's just try to create a, some beauty. Uh, the Marion Garden, the idea of the Marion Garden, people in their own homes could, could have Marion Gardens. It's a kind of a, just opening some space, the space that we need, the space for God, to let God, to let God into our lives, to let, let the Virgin Mary bring Jesus into our home by creating a beautiful garden. And now this is the second year for the contest. What kind of entries did you get the first time around? Anything special? Anything stand out to you? Oh, we got a variety of things, and they're all beautiful. You know, last year we did, it was the first time, so we did the judging internally, but I thought the judging was really just a beautiful experience to see people offering their, the beauty they created. We had some kind of com communal projects that were kind of uh, parish gardens, but then some small gardens, big gardens, small gardens, they were just all beautiful because they showed the love that people had in their hearts for God and the Blessed Virgin Mary. And really, you know, we could sense that it was doing what, we, what the goal is, to help people to open up to hope, to open up to love, and to let the love of God come into, into our hearts, with, uh, particularly with our Holy Mother Mary and prayer. You know, what we're about is the family rosary. We're, we are the family rosary. So for our viewers that are at home, how can they enter the contest? When is the deadline and what do they win? Uh, so the, de the deadline is coming up soon. The last day for entry is going to be uh, July 26th. Why do we choose that date? Because that's the Feast of St. Joachim and Anne. But you can go to our webpage for the museum, museumoffamilyprayer.org. The winners will receive a copy of a great film that we've recently created called Pray, the story of Patrick Payton. It's a beautiful, inspirational film on uh, that help people to understand the importance of family prayer. Winners will receive a copy of, a copy of Pray, and then a gift coupon, a gift card, and various uh, beautiful uh, items from our Mary Garden, from uh, uh, from our museum. That sounds so incredible. Yeah. This sounds so incredible. Thank you so much for joining us to tell us all about this, Father Jim Phelan, National Director of Family Rosary. Thank you. And. Everybody, just let's be spend some beautiful time outside this summer because this it's a, going to be a great way to take in the hope of Christ, the love of Christ, which is what we all need now. God bless you all. If you're watching Currents News on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell to get updates to all of our newest content because we are putting your faith in the news.